What's up guys, it's Sivan. So in the previous videos we've discussed Facebook for Business and we've opened an account. In this short video as promised I wanted to tell you the difference between Power Editor and Ads Manager. So while creating your account you may have navigated through Facebook and noticed that there's Power Editor and then there's Ads Manager and you may be thinking what's the difference which one should I use? Well in short you should use both. If you want to edit your ads you should use Power Editor, absolutely, and I will elaborate on that. If you want to analyze your data after getting the results, you should use Ads Manager. So let me tell you why. So let's go back to uh, Power Editor and let's run through some examples and some differences. So there's two big differences that I've encountered um, between the Power Editor and the Ads Manager in terms of editing. So one of them is just simpler and easier. If you want to create a new ad, you don't have to go through the entire process of creating your campaign and ad set and then add. In Power Editor, it's so much quicker. The second thing is this has so much better duplication options here. The, du the duplication options are much better okay, than, uh, than in the Ads Manager, and I will show you why. So let's start off by creating an ad just to show you that it's much easier here in Power Editor. So suppose I'm not duplicating, suppose I just want to create another ad. I click Create Ad. I can use, I want to use my existing campaign, I want to use my existing ad set, and I'm going to create an ad name. Uh, so this is, you know, ad name or ad number two. Notice how it doesn't take me away from the action. I still see everything that's going on here, and I'm just editing this stuff in the background. So all I have to do now is actually create my ad, right? So there's uh, my little beautiful face there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't know why that's there. Let me, uh, let me remove that nasty picture. Okay, anyway, the ad is there, okay? So um, you just create it and then you click review changes. That's it, you're done, you create your ad. And in fact, might as well finish, right? Don't wanna leave you guys hanging. Um, well, actually, everything here is already listed. It's listed everything from my YouTube channel. I guess that's from my um, that's from my Facebook page. It automatically does that. So let's see what the error is. A default will be used for image two if you don't select one. Okay, that's fine. So they're just telling us that they're going to use my default image, but you get the point. You could change the image, right? That's not the challenge here. So let me just show you once it applies and everything is set up correctly. Let's go into Ads Manager and show you how you would do it there. And it's not as simple. Okay, there you go. So it's pending review now. Uh, let me just disactivate that ad so it doesn't actually run. Okay, that's fine. So now let's go into Ads Manager. And let's try to create an ad here. Now, most of the time you won't actually be creating ads. Most of the time you will be duplicating. But regardless, what I'm trying to say is it takes you away from the action here. So as you can see, now I have to go through the whole process. I'm not going to go through the whole process. But basically, you know, if I finish my campaign, now I have to do the ad set and I have to put everything in here again. So it's really annoying, really time consuming. I can use settings from my other camp, um, from my other ad set, but these are just the basic settings. It will not include interests, for example, which is the biggest thing, right? That's that's kind of the, the, the bread and butter of Facebook. So you get the idea, okay? Uh, let me go into Power, power Editor. No, that's fine. Okay, so we've covered the fact that it's much harder creating ads, right? It takes you away from the action and it, it just takes so much more time. So let's go into duplicating ad sets now. So actually, let me delete this just in case they... Uh, I'm just going to delete that ad. But as you saw, it was up and running. It was just pending review, right? So... Okay. So that's fine. So let me uh, show you now if you want to duplicate your ads. Here's how simple it is in Power Editor. I click on this button here and I have two options. Let me see, I should have two options. Oh, they may have removed one. Um, okay, let me click on duplicate. So I can, I can put in as many uh, duplicates as I want to. I can create that campaign or I can put them into a different campaign, right? 
Uh, I can click create and I should have five different ads here. That is odd. Hold up. Um, well, I should have five different ads. Let me see. Let's try that again. Duplicates. There you go. Okay, so I don't know what happened. Uh, it somehow thought that it selected the other one and this one, but this ad wasn't selected. So I don't know why I did 10. It did, it did two times, right? Because we had two ads. But anyway, uh, there you go. Okay, hello. So here was our, you know, diabetes page we've been working on. And that's it. So that's done. It's in draft. You can click review changes. That's it. Good to go. You can also come in here and actually edit every single one of them, right? So it, it's it's gonna say copy. So just go in and just edit like one word or picture, right? And then and then name it that way, and then go on to the next one. So all you have to do is change that one thing that you're changing. So much easier. Um, now they used to have a feature actually where maybe it's quick duplicate. Let me see. They they used to have a feature where you can like kind of. Uh, split test the age groups and the demographics right there and then like right in front of your eyes and do it even faster than what we just did let me see if no there's they they removed it wow and i just did this like two days ago that's crazy okay uh yeah it was called split option let me just uh just make sure that oh sorry here it is yeah my bad it's the because we're split testing demographics it's only done in ad groups not ads okay so my apologies for that for um, but here so click on split audiences and here this is this is so much faster so if I want to split test demographics in particular then I can just click create ad set create ad set for example right do as many as you want to and change my age group or whatnot here so you know I'll make it 60 I'll make it male this one I'll make 60 and I'll make female whatever you get the idea right and then you click create ad sets and that's it it's it's done for you with all that the interests are the same so you may want to change the interests if you want to do that. Or again, if you're only split testing the uh, gender and the age, that's it. You're done. That was really fast. Um, one thing to keep in mind is your your budget also gets duplicated. So if your budget was 10 bucks, 20 bucks, and you create five more um, ad sets, your budget is going to be that times six now, right? Because now you have six in total or whatever the number is. So <clears throat> that's that. So let me just, uh, yeah, I'll delete that. And now if we go into ads manager, let's take a look and compare. So here we have our campaigns, ad sets. So let's try to duplicate the ads and let's see what, what options are available. So I click here. The only option looks like available is duplicate ads. Let's click on it. And it looks like, again, it takes us to a different window. I don't want to be taken to a different window. I want to see what's going on. Um, but okay, I'll click continue and this is kind of their version of, of duplication. So, um, I can, I can change things here. Yes, absolutely. And I can click place order, but one at a time. So what happens when you're scaling and you're doing a bunch of different, uh, tests, you can only do one at a time, extremely slow. If I select two of them, for example, Yes, I can do that now. I can duplicate two ads, right? Um, so I would just have to click this little button at the bottom. But then it, it's 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 like you're playing a game. You're duplicating one, then two, then four, then eight. Why not just do ten at a time, right? So in conclusion, <laughs> uh, Ads Manager is is much slower at this. Let me just cancel out of here. Uh, not sure why it's lagging. Let me. I'm just gonna refresh that. Okay, so there you go. Right now, should we just delete Ads Manager completely? Should we write to Facebook and let them know that uh, no one's using it? No, and the reason for that is because you need Ads Manager to read your data. So, uh, le uh, well, let me start off with Ads Manager. So if you can see here. As you see, you have a few columns here, right? So you you can sort by all these. So so I mean, you can you can sort your columns here just like we did in our Google AdWords um, series, right? Uh, where where you had a bunch of columns and you can you can customize those, and you can you can break down what you want to see your um, 
kind of segment your results. So if you want to see your results based on age and gender to see what age and what gender uh, was more likely to convert or to click your ads, you can do that here. You can click on business location, country, all that stuff. Again, same thing we did with Google ads when we optimized our campaigns. This is a way to optimize it. And also you can add additional uh, columns here. So when we get into pixels, this is the only way you can actually track your conversion. So when you go to customize columns, and you go down to website and here you see Facebook pixel. So we'll go into that, but basically you would put your pixels here and you would see, you know, whatever it is you put, what, was it a lead? Was it a purchase? Was it a, a add to cart, right? Whatever it is, you can, you can track that. You cannot do that in power editor. Our power editor is not meant to analyze data. It's meant to edit your data. Okay. So if we go back into power editor, I do not see any such option to do so here and to change it. So again, if we go to the basic ad level or ad sets level, um, the only thing I can click on here is list settings and I can change the columns, but as you can see, it's not much like that's it. I'm limited to these options, right? Uh, I can include the, you know, related page, the link, the start date of the campaign, the end day, but that doesn't really help me with my conversions. When I input pixels, I need to know my results. And you can't do that here. And again, if I go through anywhere here, there's, you know, manage rules, that's rules for something else, right? So there's absolutely no option here for customizing your columns in Power Editor. So that's why we need to do it in Ads Manager. So in conclusion, again, Ads Manager, analyze your data, Power Editor, make your data, okay? That's basically the gist of it. Uh, I, I, I hope that helped. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.